buying it from an app developer. That information, uh, th this was information that people generally share publicly on their Facebook pages, like names and their profile picture and the pages they follow. When we first contacted Cambridge Analytica, they told us that they had deleted the data. About a month ago, we heard new reports that suggested that wasn't true. And now we're working with governments in the US, the UK, and around the world to do a full audit of what they've done and to make sure they get rid of any data they may still have. Second, to make sure no other app developers out there are misusing data, we're now investigating every single app that had access to a large amount of information in the past. And if we find that someone improperly used data, we're going to ban them from Facebook and tell everyone affected. Third, to prevent this from ever happening again going forward, we're making sure that developers can access as much information now. The good news here is that we already made big changes to our platform in 2014 that would have prevented this specific situation from Cam with Cambridge Analytica from occurring again today. But there's more to do, and you can find more details on the steps we're taking in my written statement. My top priority has always been our social mission of connecting people, building community, and bringing the world closer together. Advertisers and developers will never take priority over that as long as I'm running Facebook. I started Facebook when I was in college. We've come a long way since then. We now serve more than 2 billion people around the world. And every day, people use our services to stay connected with the people that matter to them most. I believe deeply in what we're doing. And I know that when we address these challenges, we'll look back and view helping people connect and giving more people a voice as a positive force in the world. I realize the issues we're talking about today aren't just issues for Facebook and our community. They're issues and challenges for all of us as Americans. Thank you for having me here today, and I'm ready to take your questions. <clears throat> I'll remind members that was Mark Zuckerberg's Andy statement, but in it, he said that Cambridge Analytica lied to them. That's big news. So, there you go.